Hello. I pray that you're well today. We continue in 1 Timothy chapter 3. Here is a trust, trustworthy saying. Whoever aspires to be an overseer desires a noble task. What's an overseer? A pastor. I, I happen to be a pastor. And so if I desire to be an overseer, I desire a noble task. Now the overseer is to be above reproach, faithful to his wife, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not given to drunkenness, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own family well and see that his children obey him. He must do it in a manner worthy of full respect. If anyone does not know how to manage his own family, how can he take care of God's church? He must not be a recent convert. He may become conceited and fall into the same judgment as the devil. He must have a good reputation with outsiders, so he will not fall into disgrace and into the devil's trap. In the same way, deacons are to be worthy of respect, sincere, not indulging in much wine, not pursuing dishonest gain. They must keep a hold of the deep truths of the faith with a clear conscience. And as they first test it, and then when there is nothing against them, let them serve as deacons. In the same way, the women are to be worthy of respect, not malicious talkers, but temperate and trustworthy in everything. A deacon must be faithful to his wife and must manage his children and his household well. Those who have served well gain an excellent standing and great assurance in their faith in Jesus Christ. Now, this is a list about pastors and other leaders of the church. I happen to be a pastor. And in fact, I need the grace of Jesus Christ, just like you need the grace of Jesus Christ. The scripture uses the language that my responsibility is to oversee, that is to be concerned about faith and to teach clearly, to be concerned about faith and to teach clearly. I don't know how many pastors you know, but can I encourage you to pray for them, to lift them up? Because the goal of any Christian pastor is that everybody would know the mercy of God in Jesus Christ. And I know every Christian pastor has their own set of weaknesses and their own set of needs, but the goal is always the same, that the mercy of Jesus Christ is proclaimed. He goes on to say in verse 14, although I hope to come to you soon, I'm writing these instructions so that if I'm delayed, you will know how God's people ought to conduct themselves in God's household which is the church of the living God and the pillar and foundation of the truth. Beyond all question, the mystery of which true godliness springs is great. He appeared in the flesh. He was vindicated by the spirit, was seen by angels, was preached on among the nations. He was believed on in the world and he was taken up in glory. So that is the message of Christ. He appeared in the flesh, the incarnation of Jesus Christ. He was vindicated by the spirit. He was seen by angels. He was preached in the nations. He was a believed on in the world. He was taken up in glory, the ascension. This is, these are aspects of who is this Jesus that we proclaim? The one who brings mercy to the world. It's a incredible responsibility to speak of Jesus. I strongly encourage you, go back to what the word of God says that you might trust and believe. It is an incredible responsibility to speak clearly about Jesus in a world that so desperately needs him. I ask you to continue to pray for Robert today. I pray that you, that he would have strength and in the time he has with his wife and children, that they may be given, his, given peace. Please pray for Robert. And, and please pray for all those who have great needs Maybe you have great needs today. You can cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. We pray. Gracious God, we pray that you would give to all those who have needs the fullness of what they need because of you. We thank you. We thank you for the gift of Jesus. We pray for Robert today. We pray for his strength. We pray for his life. We pray for his wife, Rachel for Xander and Reese, we ask you to bless them. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.